this is a very perfect camp since they are dominating their jinn will always try to steal our jungle right so that is my plan so i wait i'm just sitting here patiently waiting like i said if i take out jinn that's that's good for my team like any other kill it's okay but jinn is a special kill so i'm just waiting i'm just waiting i'm just look at that i'm still waiting and look what we get boom sham double kill Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel this match I'm really excited to show you guys this match this is my first match in uh, the peak tournament I started this match on live yesterday but then unfortunately it was a complete blackout and my electricity went out and it was just messed up but still I was playing this match and this is probably one of the most uh, hardest match that I have played I was so determined to win it and uh, I I usually don't share matches that I usually go for matches that have uh, live recording where I also react but this one this is special so don't miss out on this I am telling you guys this is one of the best matches of my entire career all right so I am playing dharma here and let's get right into it Yes I wasn't even recording this match while I was playing so it it kind of got messed up but uh, it shouldn't matter the only the only problem is i am on the red side whenever i'm, I'm i get a good video and uh, i forget to record it and then i go back again to record i always end up on the red side i don't know why it's like that but yep i am peak player 6 as you can see here and yeah we are laning against lishin now to talk about the matchup i did lane against lishin who was going for the the domination form which is the the holy form as a lot of people uh, tend to say it and then the opponents had a jin and i am telling you if a player picks jin in peak tournament then they are definitely going to be uh, very good with it and you will see how good this person with jin is and uh, and yeah uh, so let's get right into it so we have a luang we have mosi as our support we have shiranui as our mid laner and we have aguda as our jungler and she was going for the tanky build so as you can see the opponents didn't have uh, too many tanks which was pretty good because i was playing dharma so the lesser the number of tanks in the opponent the better for you as a dharma player okay uh this is not the only time when uh, this shirani tries to do something with the flicker and uh, the flash and then uh, then ends up dying you will see that more often and i was kind of at one point i even told her why are you like why are you even doing that like you will see another instance where she just messes up the whole thing uh, trying to do trying to be flashy you know trying to be like a pro and then completely ruins everything and i just tell her straight up why 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 are you doing that you could have just played that normally and you would have been all right Okay anyways I'm just uh, trying to rotate because Agudo came to my lane and Lishin just decided to stay inside the whole time and here I'm just waiting I go in here with my first ability but unfortunately I was not able to reach Daji and uh, okay double kill for the Jin so I I like I said this guy is actually insane with uh, with Jin what is his score now look at that he already has 3 kills one uh, kill at the start and then a double kill now and here i am clearing the wave against this guy but he's just straight up bullying me trying to not let me farm up i recall over here and then uh, i decided to come back around agudo is still camping liushan had no idea that she was there and uh, shirani engages with all of her abilities and somehow didn't deal even like a decent amount of damage to him okay i have to turn off i forgot to turn off uh, turn on do not disturb and Yeah, this was a pretty good engage by my team i come over here i become level 4 i clear the wave and uh, yep jin already uh, killed let's see how the the kill is oh no it's okay uh, we'll get to see more of her pro plays uh, in the future so it doesn't really matter all right so she goes in here she doesn't have her ult now i think yeah she only has her s1 and s2 but i think that should be enough to kill luang here yep that is unstoppable unstoppable is what uh five kills right oh yeah five kills she said five kills already 
and I just clear the wave here. Uh, Legion went all the way to the bottom lane and uh, until this point the match is pretty normal like it's it's not in any way exciting or anything because this is just a normal match right. Uh, this is just normal gameplay. Um, and as you can see here I haven't done anything. I have zero kills, zero deaths and zero assists and okay look at look at Jin over here guys just just wrecking everyone she's in six kills now and i'm just waiting here trying to go in and finish them off but look at how much i got stunned i got stunned first and then as soon as the stun bar completely ran out i got stunned again i just stood there st getting stunned by both daji and liu shan and i just died and that was so annoying and that is when i decided to lock up uh, i was like okay so this is this is kind of hard the the enemy jin is also like really good and she's just getting every kill everywhere and here legion is uh, trying to get my tower along with uh, liu shan i do i do something here you have to watch this look at this with a flicker and s1 i go all the way to them but by mistake i click my second ability once again that was one of the biggest mistakes i've done i clicked my second ability two times i don't know why i did that but that ended up getting me killed i would have surely killed uh legion there no shot he was escaping from right there but unfortunately okay jin is it legendary okay she's just okay she's just going to retreat this time will she be able to though ah uh, okay nice one nice one by luang luang just uh, went after her along with agudo and mosi and they were able to get the kill that is very good because every shutdown that you get is valuable Right now, if you check the score, I'll be the last one in my team in terms of gold. And uh, <laughs> I, th this is when I I was like, why am I the one who's bringing my team down? I should just step it up. I'm just so far behind. So I cleared this. I immediately, instead of uh, trying to get this tower, I go top, I think. Or do I get the tower? Yeah, I think I get this tower and then I use the teleport uh, crystal to go to this lane. If I'm, if I remember correctly. Okay, uh, Jin, Jin was here and uh, there is no way for me to kill her because the gold advantage is just so much for her right now. Even though you can, you can check it here. My gold is 3200 while Jin has 4500, 1300 gold lead, which is not something that you want to mess with. So I clear this vanguard and then go and I will just um, use the teleport crystal and go here. But this show you was pretty... Uh, like sharp he immediately saw that I was coming and decided to go back and stay behind there but the mistake that he did was he tried to like aim the snipe which will give away his location and again once again did you see that I tapped my abilities I tapped my second ability two times and I was like I don't know why I kept doing that but at least this time Shirani came and we were able to get away at least uh, from that situation even after making that misplay. This is the last time I do that here after uh, my S2s are perfect. I, I panic and I click it again um, no, uh, thinking that it's not activated yet but, but then it gets activated and immediately cancelled. So that was such an annoying uh, thing when it was happening because two sweet kills were missed because of that and the first one even i engaged with a flash and first ability like a cool engage but uh, messed up the the fight okay the, the the their team is pushing the farm lane so we decided to push the the mid lane because we will be able to our, our marksman is here our mage is here our jungler is here so i decided to let them just get the tower and jin engages here look at look at this jin i told you right and i uh, she also knows when it's time for her to leave like she won't overextend she never over uh, overextends she'll just start running either our teammates chase after her and kill her or she'll just get away she never makes a mistake that's the she, a very good gin player by the way all right so everyone is all over the place right now i'm just trying to uh, go again to this lane to miss uh, to clear all these waves right now my gold should be looking good if you check oh, okay i didn't even <laughs> I didn't even expect myself to engage there but I, I think I engaged because he was not paying attention last time he was pretty sharp and decided to walk back immediately as soon as he saw that I'm coming this time he wasn't paying that much attention but now if you look at the gold 5200 while Jin has 6900 you see it's it's still even after me starting to get these skills she's still getting more and more because of how good she is right <laughs> 
and uh, and how many kills is that now i have to check this she has seven kills now right seven kills and five assists so lately she hasn't been getting kills but she has been getting assists though okay i try to engage here on liu shan uh, i uh, i try to engage on lee shin but then i was able to engage on liu shan but for some reason lee shin also came back out and he also got hit by me and i ended up killing him slowly my gold is coming back up what is oh okay okay she was like waiting for jin to come i was like what is she doing and look at how much damage jin is doing she just came in one shot and then the overlord is dead because that is how much gold she has so here i'm just rotating around not really in the radar of the opponents yet because i only killed uh, their marksman and lee shin if i kill jin their uh, most valuable player right now or the best player in their team they'll start to get worried so i haven't done that yet so we are pretty chill no one is going to like all in on me and try to kill me and i am just uh, out here roaming around and i think jin will engage here she should right it will be nice to see a proper engage with jin a pro player engaging okay she's just waiting all right there she goes look at that and our luang just immediately pressed his ultimate and got away if not just oh i got a kill here okay let's go back and see that i don't want to miss anything just because i was seeing uh, jin fighting okay so here we are back again uh while the fight was going on there lee shin decides to come and uh, defend this because i was split pushing so he is on his way to defend but as soon as i see him i just smash him against the wall and instantly finished him off so that was just perfect and now i am just threatening another tower for them so they have to respond so even though jin was able to like force our marksman to retreat uh they did not technically win the fight because they lost their clash laner uh, to me who was split pushing and now they decide to chase me down because their support is also there so i just recall in this weird position so people usually don't expect you to recall here they usually expect you to go into the brush and then recall so that is why i decided to like stand on like in the open and uh, recall but still they were able to come and catch me down so right now i'm slowly entering into the the radar of jin uh she's uh, she will slowly start to recognize me and she'll be like okay this dharma might become a problem in the future because the gold is also in my end if you look at that i have 7500 gold now even though jin has 9500 in my team look at this 6700 6400 4700 6800 i have 7500 so my teammates are doing even worse than me i have the highest gold in my team and okay once again a huge fight is happening i'm just waiting i'm just waiting i go in with a flicker and first ability and look at that engage one engage to turn the match completely around and then i let legion go but i decide to go and attack uh, this this guy here show you he ends up killing our uh, <laughs> our our jungler but i go in i kill legion and i also kill show you i i first attack legion and then turn towards show you and jin right here engages with all of her abilities and easily catches me down i i couldn't do anything there if i had my ult maybe i could have done something but yes it is an ace uh, they killed all five of us and we killed only four from their side so okay uh, this is what i was talking about did you see that he, she engaged again with the second ability and flicker i don't know why she is doing that every single time but i i have seen alt plus flash i have seen alt plus uh, first i mean flicker plus fla alt and flicker plus first ability but i have never seen anyone do flicker and second ability like that is so weird and i don't know if it even works okay so we are camping here and now now let me tell you guys what's what's up okay look at how fast she was just she just one shot our uh, jungler right there okay i try to catch her but she is smart i was like if she comes back around here if she runs back i will just smash her on the wall and finish her off but now we have lost our uh, jungler so we need to play a bit careful i attack lee jin a little bit yes and i i do finish him off as well so look at what i do now i'm just right now i know that the opponents are always on a lookout for me and i have to play this safe right so i'm just waiting to see if jin will uh and i also don't want to mess it up because i am going for an attack build i am going for a full attack build with only one defense item so i am like okay we should be careful we should not just throw ourselves in trying to get the kill on jin and then she might outplay me right she might outplay me and i i'll end up 
dying so we don't want that and here i have the flash and my first ability but i am still hesitant to engage just because i don't want to see this show you is the least of my concern right my team will be easily able to take care of the show you but if i kill the jinn i'll be of much better value so that is what is going through my mind right here i'm like okay so my target right now should be the enemy jungler and we see her getting the overlord we are just pushed back because we don't have any gold we have to stay under the tower and uh, we pretty much don't have any other choice and you have to pay attention to how i play now i just stay back right i i i'm just trying to see where jin is i can engage on the show you but i'm just waiting for a better target to attack so jin comes here i know that she'll try to kill me so instead of letting her try to kill me i engage on her immediately i one shot the enemy liu shan and almost killed the jin as well but uh, one hp see this is what what i mean like if i get her i will be of huge help to my team killing their marksman or their mage is not going to do anything the only problem in the enemy team is their jin right now right so yeah all right now i'm just i'm just uh, roaming around trying to see if uh, if we can again engage because jin did die to luang if you guys didn't pay attention you if you guys did pay attention you might have seen that and i'm just clearing this and this show you is just trying to be annoying which we really don't care i'm just going to try uh, to clear this and be off so that is exactly what i do and now uh, another another minion so we have lost two of our high ground towers this is not looking good at all for us but my gold is slowly starting to come up and i think i'm almost full built here and look at this camp this is double kill right there in the middle of four enemies i killed two legion and jin and now if my team look at how my teammates are fighting look at how aggressive they are they know that they can easily win now and that is exactly what they do they killed everyone and only the the marksman is left and look at what he's doing he's just he has no, he 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 doesn't uh, know what to do he's the last one left so he's just trying to run away from there trying to uh, escape he he just used his uh, flash and everything else and he's just <laughs> sticking to the wall and he somehow did manage to get out, get through all of that because we don't have a marksman who can deal like get him out of uh, the camouflage right and we are getting the tower so my engage right there getting that jin is just perfection and now what happens now jin will be very careful he is a good player so what will he do he will never walk into a brush without actually checking it right so that is going to be a problem now i can't just camp anywhere and like expect it to work now that she is going to expect me to camp it's a different story completely so look at how i play now my play style will completely change i clear this wave and see what i do i clear this i go back i go back i just wait so far away see my team my team is here look at where i am standing so now now that every time the opponent center a brush they'll be second guessing like okay what if dharma is here like what is what if dharma was hiding here what if uh, dharma was hiding there so i am affecting them in a psychological level and i'm i'm just going to make them a bit stressed right and look at what i do i very rarely reveal myself now that i have a lot of gold i try to stay away from the enemy minions i don't even go out to clear the enemy minions just to just to give the sense of fear for the opponent so look at how far i am standing now jin is fighting there they are all fighting there and they'll be like where is dharma right where is dharma hiding what if he is hiding in this brush see look at how far away i am standing i'm not even giving vision because if i go close to these blue color minions they can see me so in order to avoid that i'm just look at that as soon as the minion comes around i just go all the way around so this is this is like so now jin show you they are all here their daji is here they'll be like where is this dharma because they haven't seen me in a very long time right i'm not visible in the map at all so this is your like psychological technique that i'm using right here just to get ahead of my opponents and uh, like and look at that look at that look at that still they don't know where i am they don't know where i am i haven't been close to a minion at all so jin engages here 
tries to do something but her ult is useless again i'm still staying back i'm still staying back here i think liu shan might have seen me because i i went too close but i have to i can't just keep staying back i have to come out and clear this uh, waves or help my team clear it and here we saw a good place to engage i saw that the liu shan has overextended a lot so i decided to quickly come out i got the kill right i killed liu shan and then i went back again so i can't risk dying now and here we got the the kill on the kill on legion that is my kill as well and uh, the, the 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 vanguard was actually attacking my uh, my tower here i mean my core here and yeah all all three lanes are open now and we'll see massive minions on every side this is not looking good for us still but if there is a way that is to kill jin i know that if i manage to give one more good engage for my team we'll be able to win this and the tempest dragon is also spawning right it's also spawning so uh, the jin will try to get it so that will be a pretty good spot to camp for her so i'm just removing all these devices so that we can still continue the psychological warfare on that uh, on the enemy team by uh, making them second guess our presence and look at look at where the enemy dodgy like came in and ambushed our marksman and uh, since this is luang and since he had the resurrect ability he just used it and uh, he got up even though he was not able to ult he still died and respawned and we were able to kill dodgy there right but still we, we are in no place to be able to push out because that jin is like two three players combined he, he <laughs> even if it's 4v5 he will still win if he gets a good uh, good place to use his abilities so look at where i am going i go around i clear that wave right i clear this wave and the the the, the dragon has spawned jin has used her ultimate so it is on cooldown for now for next 15 seconds it will be on cooldown i go around i see that this guy is trying to snipe nice stun by mosi there liu shan tried to save him but he ends up throwing himself as well and we get both the kills and uh, we are looking so good right now so it's 3v5 right now none of us are dead but as soon as i said that shiranui ends up uh, uh, dying but we get another kill uh, for that so it's 2v4 now and i start look at this i start the tempest dragon right and then i also attack uh, the enemy mage we killed her as well jin is the only one left she is trying to push the the middle lane so mosi leaves right i am also looking to leave but i cancel it right i cancel it and i'm like okay will you guys be able to defend what if she somehow still manages to and i'm just camping i'm letting my marksman attack it and make it seem like i'm not there at all i'm making jin think that i'm not there at all but when she decides to engage that is when i show up i was patiently waiting until she came to make it look like our marksman is the only one there right uh, and that that was just perfection she came in thinking that it's just luang and i come out of there boom and then i turned it around we also got the tempest dragon and now the match is looking favorable for us we are pushing this time and uh, we have this massive shield as well to help us engage if we need to the opponents have to play defensive no shot uh, they can be they can split push split push won't work against tempest dragon because these vanguards are so hard to kill right but still we have to be a bit careful okay flicker as one by shiranui right there she still manages to get the kill uh, before uh, okay i think she'll get away as well very well played by her very well played by her she always tries that flash like uh, it's like a fetish for that player i think he can't engage without the flash uh, be it s1 s2 or s3 but okay look at this i'm just waiting i need to get a good engage here and uh, the vanguard the overlord vanguard just stuns the tower it's just by the time you get it it's over guys and jin just just tries her best to do something but she even wasted her like the the position of her ultimate is bad and then i came in with uh, all the damage i killed jin once again at the end before uh, ending the match and this match in my opinion is one of the best matches i've ever played just because of how much psychological warfare was involved in it like uh, playing mind games with the opponent trying to make them fear you trying to make them think where you are which where, which direction is this guy going to come from so that is exactly i i am so uh, disappointed that i am not able to sh i was not able to show this match live for you guys because i was on stream when the match started and uh, you 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 can go back and see yesterday's stream it was just 20 minutes long and when i started the match the stream just ended so this was the match that i played 
and uh, it's been quite some time since i played a match without actually recording it and i i know and i think it's a fact that anyone for that matter will play better if they are fully focused on the game instead of trying to commentate or trying to go live like even on stream i'll be looking at the live chat that those are all at the end of the day they are distractions so um but that day since the the electricity went off i didn't start recording i just sit sat alone and i was playing so i was able to fully concentrate and do my my thing and one more thing is this was possible because we weren't facing tank meta right and our team is also not a tank meta team like this this is a very this was a very exciting match uh this is what i miss in the game right now uh heroes like dharma heroes like jin heroes like daji heroes like legion heroes like shiranui like we have heroes that actually die instantly one small mistake and you're dead so that that gives you so much skill like that shows how much skill you have because playing kaiser are done you do a bad engage and then you just run out of there you take all the damage you don't care you just run out of there but with dharma a bad engage means instant death because i'm building full tank so this is the build except the second item everything is attack item for me so yeah it was a very fun match to play and i hope the meta becomes like this instead of being the stale dumb boring tanks just brawling around this is this is moba guys this is how moba should be fast paced fully psychological thinking how to engage how to one shot how to escape the one shot how to outplay someone and yeah this was a very interesting match to play i hope you guys enjoyed it as well and yeah that's going to be it for the video guys i hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button i hope you all have a really great day and i'll see you guys in the next video